washed out on a new brush, Purdy Pro Extra Monarch, 19 quid for one brush, just under $25. So when I do say splashed out, I mean splashed out. A two inch. Quick look. And you know, I'm not knocking the quality overall. The quality of the brush is good, as with any quality brush, they are well made. But it's this filament, it's the filament that doesn't last, doesn't stand the test of time. So, as you can see, they're all pure bristle. So here I've got another purdy. So see how the the filament on it is splayed. Both these brushes are pretty much the same age. Yet the bristle on this uh, filament, sorry, has just got to the point where it's lost its memory and you'll never get that back into shape once it's gone it's gone so over here I've got more synthetics that once this has been distorted it loses shape and that's it you can't get it back here, flat brush, which is a mix of pure bristle and synthetic, and all the synthetic bristle in it has gone wiry, just like with these. Yet, the pure bristle that's within it, the black bristle, has stayed. Well, it's sound. There's nothing wrong with it. Just won't stand up to the working. Once you start to work paint, okay, if you're just doing flat surfaces and you're gently just painting on, but when you're actually starting to work painting, especially outside, then it just becomes useless. So, again, Various types of paints, bitumen, got some hammerite galvanised metal paint, more hammerite paint, damp seal, exterior gloss paint, oil paint, paint. With these states you can use with any paint, but guaranteed using some of these, the bitumen on brickwork, even the damp seal on plaster, these won't withstand it soon end up with something like that that becomes pretty useless like I say it doesn't matter about the brush synthetics they all go the same so I'm just going to remove one filament off this I've got one filament there just snip that off Just distort that, just stretch it a little bit. And if I get a bit of a background there, you see how that's distorted? How that's looking now? Oh, you're probably thinking what I did there was quite extreme. But overall, no. Because each one of these brushes has been stressed over time, as these have. Just working the bristle after a certain length of time, depending on the viscosity of the paint, how much you're having to work it out. The, bris the bristle filament, sorry, is being stressed. Soon becomes weaker. 
and starts to do this like any other filament synthetic brush will and like I say even with mixes doesn't matter so again stressing of the filament when you're washing you may be working the filament across the palm of your hand or then with a comb through the filament a lot of the modern paints nowadays they are quite durable and so when they dry as you're working can be quite difficult to remove so you have to do more combing more washing stressing the filament every one of those brushes there has gone through the same as these if you do any fishing at all then with the nylon filament what called cat gut that will do exactly the same so once this gets bent or stressed then it becomes more difficult to remove it so then at times you end up snipping your line to remove that especially when you're tying hooks and things and when you get down to half pound line becomes more difficult so same idea but what really did get to me most was when I went buying this I did want to go and buy some pure bristle but the only brush that they had anywhere was synthetic and in the trade aisle the only brush that was on offer was purdy no other brushes whatsoever no other synthetics just purdy alone which the pushing in the trade aisle again paints on the shelves which I know can be difficult to apply and again depending on the surface that you're applying it to can be quite rough something like this is not going to withstand the wear again that is the only brush that they're offering synthetic not a great deal of choice on offer like I say you can pick up a box set of five brushes for the same price as you can one of those and durable just last so long so then now we'll look at um, you know the bad hair day or what you call a bedhead bad hair day so you wake up in the morning and you've got bed head so you need to wash your hair again this inch the pure bristle was a little bit rough nicely angled there from use perfect for using on Georgian bead painting Georgian windows doors and then the synthetic looking quite rough so need to give it a dip water in the bucket same principle as the paint I wanted to cling to the filament or bristle and draw it together so again just like waking up with that bed head and you rinse your hair just dip it in and see how much this draws together oh it doesn't really want to with the inch reasonably splayed oh. 
those drawn together nicely. A little bit of stray bristle, but again, this is only water, it's not got the cling, but it's just demonstrating there how much it comes together. And then with this one, which is quite splayed, brought together nicely. That's why I do think that something like this is a lot better and you get more value for your money. Overall, quality is good. It's just the longevity of this. Great when you first buy it and you're using it a few times. I'd say perfect, absolutely perfect for the DIY enthusiast. If you love painting your own home, then something like this is brilliant. But as for using that, week in week out various paints whether it be water based or oil paints cellulose paints I don't know pure bristle for your cellulose definitely and again these soft tips were so eventually you'll be down to something like this which represents nothing like what you see here pure bristle brush will wear down and it'll be the same bristle right the way through no problem when it gets to the something like this like I say that is perfect for painting trim slight angle on it because a brush that you use for a long time after a while of using it, you'll always pick it up and work with it the same way. So you'll get a slight whir on the top of the bristle. So this has gone to a slight angle. Perfect. Let's say five brushes for the price of one. You should at least be allowed a choice when you go to buy brushes. So again, choosing something like this, you'd be going through them quite a lot. Uh, applying water-based paints is nothing new. They've been doing it for hundreds of years using pure bristle brushes. And suddenly you start to see a lot more of this. Pushing water-based paints, pushing the idea that you have to use something like this. Well, it's not necessary. You can use a brush like this perfectly well and will last you a lot longer. Again, it's just turnover. You go through more of them. So it doesn't really matter what the synthetic filament is. Even sweeping brushes. And again, even the fishing line will all distort pure bristle lasts a lot longer again even on a sweeping brush fantastic